What's going on, if guys? If you're watching the channel, you know who I am. <laughs> oh god, the intros. They're all laughing. <laughs> Uh, and this is the Dinosaur guys. Not the dreaded overlapping. And welcome to Planet Side 2, I guess. I can't hit you, Jack. Of course, I am using a controller because I want to fly. I'm gonna go spawn a plane. Actually, I should probably teach you stuff first. Alright, so let's go into the. Let's follow me. And this, what is, your, what is your name? You have, to you, have to, you have to introduce yourself. What is your name? Technically, well, it depends. Do you want my Steam name, my YouTube name, or my you, uh, YouTube name? Just in-game name. Yeah, YouTube name. Uh, that technically, one. I'm Vindicar Arsenin, but you'll also see me throughout a lot of places as just, just, just across the lawn, because that's what I go as. All right, so I'm recording too, so you can get to my channel. I'm sure we'll link it in the description or whatever. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> description. Yeah. Um. Uh, we're gonna go through. I'm gonna go through and help and. I'll and teach Ethan planet side. All right. Basically. Walk up to this terminal. No, don't aim. Okay. Walk up to the terminal. Yeah, I got it. Yep. Cookie. Mm -hmm. All right. First class infiltrator. What does your infiltrator have right now? You should have the NC14 bolt driver. Yeah. The NC4 mag shot. Yes. The recon detection device six. Yeah. The hunter cloaking. One grenade. One melee and one implant. Yeah, and I also have suit. switch up to that class. Okay, equip it, now. I got yeah, it. The, the, oh, the, oh yeah, the suit's probably. No wonder I keep dying. I don't have my suit upgrade. <laughs> I don't have my upgraded suit. All right. So where are you? Where the fuck are you? Wait, I'm, you I'm right beside the oh, terminal still. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I can see you. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. All right. So. This is the infiltrator. If you hit F, you go invisible. Now, if you'll notice, you can see me clear as day. Yeah, because well, I'm not clear. Friend, you can right? see my outline. Yeah. Yeah. Now, infiltrator. This specific type of infiltrator best used at distance for headshots. Headshots. Good. Yeah. Just. Okay. Now, follow me. Okay. Another thing the infiltrator is really good at is this sprinting up like switching to knife or whatever switching invisible sprinting up on a target yeah like a tank or whatever it works best if you have mines but it works for an infiltrator too or like infantry too de-equip two knives will kill two knife strikes is one kill okay how do you knife again well you can knife pretty quick. uh hold down middle mouse button middle or whatever mouse. you have down to melee okay great okay that'll bring out your knife so if so, you go invisible, you can run up behind the target, switch, aim for the headshot or whatever, and knife him. Make oh, sure yeah, you so make it tw twice. Okay, good. Got it. Now, you'll see, like, it's pretty obvious what the sniper rifle does and what the secondary weapon does. It's a handgun. Yeah, what's the thing, the third thing, though? This thing. If you shoot, you'll see, you notice that now that now on the minimap, there's that glowing um, thing that's like blipping out. Uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. That is a motion detector. Uh, if enemies run through that circle, they will be they will turn into a red dot. Oh. So now comes something important. If you hit Q on a target while it, looking at like an enemy, did you hear that? I just stated yes. there's an enemy medic, which is what this character here is. Uh... And did you notice how? And now if you hit Q on a target. It's, They'll it's, light up. Light assault trooper. That's not a light assault trooper. I killed the last guy. Enemy Max. This thing, the Max unit. Yeah. Yeah. Beast. I'm sure you saw him in the tutorial. Yeah. Your knife is gonna do jack shit to him. Sniper rifle, even with a headshot, doesn't do much. Hostile Keep him queued. It's only about like a quarter of his health. Dang. Okay. So. Oh wait, sorry. Okay, see, see. Can you repeat? How do you get it to light up red again? Q. Hit Q. Right. It will mark. That marks him as a target. So you can do that to any. You can do that to any enemy if you're looking at them. Any enemy. That includes vehicles. Ter uh, not terminals. Vehicles. Like any type of vehicle, ground, air, or any infantry. 
Okay. So and so the gun just makes it so they you can see them on the mini map. Like the uh, the gun makes it so that if they're moving, you don't have to hit Q. They'll show up as a red dot. But if you hit Q on a target, you notice how they turn into a you know how they you notice how they turn into a red triangle. Yeah. Well, not a red triangle, but like a red arrow that yeah. marks them. Makes it easy. They get a name above them. Makes it a lot easier to put down targets. Okay. You really want to do that, or be doing that if you have if you're like playing. If you're, if you're encountering a lot of heavy resistance from max units or something, and there's a light assault, or heavy, or a tank nearby. Because this re specific reason why light assaults are very good against max units is, if you come back over here, yeah, and you go into the terminal, and you go in, it's like, don't have anything, it, and switch up to your in, uh, light assault. Okay. Equip your light assault. Is that just your standard issue light assault? Should be, right? It should. I haven't changed anything. Okay, good. So if you follow me, your standard issue light assault, armed with grenade, handgun, and nothing that I have, actually, apart from this house. Frag, frag grenades. Though they, they, just so you know, there is friendly fire, so if that grenade had been in an actual battle, it would have killed me. <laughs> I threw it at the guy. I don't know why it ended up on you. Does it stick to people? No, it bounces. Oh, so it bounced off the guy. That makes sense. Okay. Here. Now, you want something important is that grenades cannot harm Sunders, Lightnings, and Prowlers, or the, any special tank. So, this thing cannot be harmed by a grenade. This thing here cannot be harmed by a grenade. And I see that you also have m encountered the fun thing about a light assault, which yeah, is it's, it's got a fucking jetpack. The jetpack, yeah. <laughs> This is the Sunder. Grenades can't harm it, nor can small arms fire. And this here is the Prowler. Again, grenades can't harm it, nor can small arms fire. If you have an anti-tank grenade or something, you can disable it. Or, if you have what I have here, that magical thing there. What is that? Oh, it's C4. C4. Yeah. Yeah. I actually went out and bought myself two C4s, so I can destroy Prowlers. Wow. Also, my gun can bring down max units with a consistent burst to the head. But if you try to use yours for consistent headshots, like aim at the head, keep it tracked on the head. It doesn't do anything. Really? Oh, okay. It does some. It does something. It does very little though. Yeah, m mine does a lot of damage. Oh, fucking hell! Didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> All right, so yeah. So you notice how the prowler took two C4s to destroy? Yes. Let me here. You just you just run around and shoot everything. There's a mosquito over there. That thing. Yeah. You see that aircraft? The little one. Go shoot it. You can kill it with bullets. The mosquito. Okay. Same with the um, scythe beside it. Now there's a specific reason why I'm running back to resupply. Hehe. <laughs> Wasn't that satisfying? Amazing. Follow me. Wait, where's Come the... Back to me. Okay, okay, I'm coming. The specific reason why is... You see this big, huge fucking truck? Uh, yeah. 1C4 takes out just under half its health. Yeah. 2C4s... Nearly destroy it, but they don't. Quite destroy it. It's burning, so it will explode on its own eventually. Like, yeah. it will explode. Yeah. But it tech, but our engineer like this. Oh, this guy. Yeah. This guy's an engineer. I know because of his uh, back setup. Me medics will have a uh, like hair on them, hair on their back, and he's not big and bulky, so therefore he's not a max unit or heavy. Yeah. And the sunder, like this guy, normally would sprint to his sunder, switch to his third weapon, and repair. Because you can repair as a NG. Yes. This will eventually explode, so we should probably just like leave it. Okay, but you can't damage. Bullets it with... don't hurt it. Yeah. Bullets or grenades. Until we get to the heavy, because the heavy has a special type of grenade for dealing with that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Boom. I. Let's switch up to. I'm just going through class by class right now. 
Yeah, people yeah. who have played Planet Side know that there's a couple other things that I'm completely ignoring right now. Do you want to switch See? to Medic? Uh, yes, Medic switch. Follow me. Up and over. And sprint forwards. Medic's pretty bloody useless. <laughs> yeah? Like, uh, like, they're useless in VR. They are the most useful thing you can have in the actual game of Planet Side. Uh huh. Because medics, if you switch, if you scroll down to their third weapon, yeah, it's not a weapon. Look it. Ooh, I'm healing you. Glory lasers. My right click will resurrect you if here. I shall uh, stay away from me because I'm actually. I guess you could stand right beside me if you want. But I'm gonna do something stupid and throw a grenade down. Okay. I'm dead. Walk so, up beside me. So right I can, click. I can revive you? Oh yes. man, that's cool. You yeah, can. Okay, got it. Now, the reason why you revived me very, very quick. Once we get into the real battles with and do, we like try out medic, you're not gonna revive that quick. Yeah, okay. The reason why is because your medigun doesn't actually do that much damage. Or Medigun. Medigun has like five or six different stages that you have to level it up. And max level lets you revive extremely quick and you revive with full health. Oh. But until then, you don't revive at full health. You start at half health. Oh. Now, the thing about the max units, you can't heal them. Right. So, but you can. You can't heal a max unit. You can heal them in the You can the resurrect engineer, right? him if he dies. Yeah. You can. Yeah, you need an engineer because technically it's a machine that you have there. Now this thing, unfortunately, I can't put it down. But what I have in my hand is called a spawn beacon. Yeah. It's something that you buy if you're part of a, if you're a squad leader or a platoon leader. Okay. And it, I'll get into depth about those later. S switch up to your engineer. A cool motherfucker. Okay, got it. Oh, I didn't. I don't have a C4. He has a lot of weapons. Alright, I'm just gonna equip. Oh, yes, yes, he, he fucking does. Alright, now. C4. Or. The thing that you're holding in your hands right now, this is an ammo packet. Just unload. Here, hit one and unload. Yep. Tap F. F. And walk over it. Look it, you pick up more bullets. Oh man. Actually, you, you picked up bullets from me, but <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Now this thing, this thing's the important thing. This thing on your side, this is your NG gun, like your third weapon, your NG gun. Super useful. So you can like fix stuff with it. Yep. Any vehicle, like air or ground, or the max units. You can repair max units with this. Then in your fifth slot, if you come back here. Yeah. In your fifth slot. That's the turret. You got this thing. Yeah. Yeah, you've got your turret. Now you can zoom in with your turret. Oh god. You can hop into your turret. Ah, I see. Here, I've marked two enemies for you to shoot. Two enemies. Enemy light assault in the area. That's the mosquito. No, don't shoot the mosquito. Now, if you want, you can right-click to zoom in and move closer. Okay, I can't hit the engineer, he's too far away. But you can, that's just it. You can hit him. Wait, you, you actually can? From this range? Yeah. Turret's ranges are extremely long. I can't. The trick is actually... The trick is... Does Ethan. it... Does it, uh, like... Do you have to aim upwards? Here. There's a max... Uh, no. No, there's no bullet drop yet. No. Aim at him. Aim at him. Like, yeah. right click, zoom in, aim. Yeah. Fire a burst. Like, one or two shots at him. Oh. Because if you spray. Like, here. It becomes Ethan. inaccurate, right? Yeah, it becomes really inaccurate. The trick is actually to target an opponent and fire a couple of bursts at him. Because you'll bring him down real fast. Oh. And the bigger the target, the more bullets you can just spray. So like this mosquito, 
There's no need for me to, like, fire in bursts, because it's a big-ass mosquito. Alright, now there's something I forgot to show you about the medic, if you follow me again. Okay, how do you... Come on. Okay, okay got it. Whoa, it Just changed. Just used to exit. Look at it. It's now a desert. It's kind of weird, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, we were, we were at nighttime earlier. Here, if you switch up to medic. Oh, right. Medic. All right. Medic has... A special class ability as well. Mm -hmm. I completely glossed over this. Your class ability is, let's say I throw my grenade down. Run over to my grenade, but don't die to it. Like right here. Darn, I didn't actually take any damage. You you can press F and it'll bring back your heal. Your, um... Not your heals. Your heals, yes. No, it'll bring back your health. That's about all it does. Now, switch up. Come back up here. Switch up to the heavy assault. Heavy assault. These guys are amazing. Heavy assault. This thing, really useful. Like kind of the be the jack of all trades of the gun of the like super sick uh, classes. Okay. You've got a LMG. You can already see the rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already got that out. Again, the hand the handgun doesn't change. Yeah. But this is this is the real reason why your heavy is super useful. You just unload your rockets on a target, and you can bring down whatever you want. Like, it's... The idea is that you have multiple heavies, fire, concentrate fire on one target, and you can bring it down fast. Amazing. Now, if we switch up to this thing, or attempting to kill this thing right here, oh, right. this max unit, two rockets, and he's dead. Okay. Now you'll encounter this a lot. People who shoot the ground right in front of you with a rocket. Or accidentally shoot, or like shoot square at you with rockets. It's really stupid, really inefficient. No, switch to one, not two. The real trick is actually to switch up. If you're engineering, you've if you're heavy and you encounter a lot of infantry. Yeah. Even if there are max units in there, switch up to your LMG. Because you can pump so many shots in. Yeah, because the, he the heavy doesn't really have to reload ever. That's kind of the really good point of an, a heavy. Now, I'm pretty sure I've put a grip, a vertical grip, on my gun, which makes it a lot harder to... that, that makes the recoil more controllable on this specific gun. Yeah. Now, if I do this, hit F... Oh, what's this? Hit F. This is your overshield. <laughs> You'll notice how, like, you have your... You you have just above your health and your ammo, and beside where there's like a uh, another thing, there's the shield that goes down when you hit F. Yeah. That's your overshield. That overshield acts as, again as another shield. Here, just hold down middle mouse and you can bring out your knife permanently. Okay. Got him. Wait, he does not. Did it lets you do really fast attacks. You can't knife a heavy. Uh, uh max unit. <laughs> Uh, you can just uh, watch this. Enemy max Here, he's spotted. Look how slow his health goes down. It takes two of us constantly knifing to bring him <laughs> down from like. It took us like five minutes to bring him down. <laughs> yeah. Versus like the ten. Versus like the half minute for, with this thing. Like, look it. Use the gun, don't use your knife. Yeah. Guns have a much higher time to kill. Or a much faster time to kill. Follow me. Where'd you go? Follow me back. This way. Back. Back. Again. Don't get run over by the stupid Reaver pilot. <laughs> Follow me. This sh overshield, all it does is just counteracts damage. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure if I let the overshield get to full and throw a grenade at my feet, I won't die. Okay. G. F. Yeah. Damn. No damage. All my overshield is gone, as well as my normal shield, and some of my health. No, here. Remember, 
grenades in VR, there's no friendly fire in VR. So grenades don't do anything to, y to other players in VR. Like here, I'm shooting you right now. Typically, that would have killed you. Yeah. Because stuff. <laughs> but if I switch back up to my combat medic, who has, because I'm now low on health, and hit F. If you're taking a look at me, you notice how my health went up? Yeah. That was my F. That's the special ability. Okay. Now, let's switch up to the most fun class of all. This one. The max. Oh, damn. The max. Alright, now, what you're specifically armed with, if you follow me, hit F, and it's a charge. This the specific setup is a charge. Oh, man. <laughs> uh... Left click. Left click on that guy. Oh, my Got God. A shotgun. It's like a one also, shot. You can middle... You can just middle mouse. Watch this. Watch this. It's not a one shot. It's only a one shot headshot. Follow me. No. You know what's really fun though? This thing. Boom. Boom. The max punch. Max punch. Now. Here. If you right click while looking at the uh, prowler. Uh yeah. You'll fire your big gun. <laughs> Dang. Oh, somebody's got a crossbow. Here. Now, what I have is actually really cool, because my weapon is the NS Burster, which is an anti-vehicle grenade. Okay, so this this gun can't damage or anti tanks just by itself. Oh no! Oh. Uh, your big your main gun should be taking should be taking down the health of the uh, primary out of that like crawler. Oh, I can, I can. Your right, your your right click gun. Yeah, for some reason I can only see its health when I go like right up close to it though. Like, here, I'll to... stand right in front of it. I have to be yeah, like. Here, shoot again. Yeah. Not that one. The right click. Right click does huge damage because it's a rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just a. Uh... See, look it. You blew it up with that cannon. Yeah, I could only see. All right, charge I back to base. Itself. Oh, charge. Yeah. Oh man, that's so awesome. So useful. Can you do this infinitely? Oh no, I guess not. Um, no, because if you take a look, above your health for every single class is your F ability. Yeah, and it's And that F abilities, it takes time to charge. The max unit, if you follow me, yeah. now we're going to start customizing classes. Now, go into the thing, switch up to your infiltrator. Yeah. Your infiltrator will only have one gun unlocked. Yeah. Yeah. The NC, the, the uh, NC-14 bolt, bolt rifle. Yeah. And he will have no upgrades unlocked for it. Yeah. But if you go down to your ability, mm -hmm. you'll notice that there's also a thing called Stalker Cloaking. Yeah. This shit's cool. <laughs> Switch up, equip the Stalker Cloaking. Yeah. Crouch or stand. But hit F. Hit F. Uh, okay. You know how last time the uh, F ability was going down? Oh, now it doesn't go down when you... Uh... This is an infinite cloak. But if you walk, if you walk, it go it starts going off. Ah. Like it starts going away. But then you stop again, and, and look it, it goes it back. And it fills up. That's awesome. Yeah. Only problem is, can't, can't do anything while you're invisible. Can't knife. Yeah. You're pretty useless when you're invisible. This you so the trick is actually just like spy. Yeah, but here, if you <laughs> if you try to shoot, it doesn't get rid of your cloak, which is I find personally really dumb. Oh, that's... And it doesn't get rid of the cloak. So you have to uncloak and then shoot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or a knife in this case. Yeah. No. If try hitting one. Hit one. Okay. Oh, it doesn't. Primary weapon slot disabled. That's the only. That's the downside of the stalker cloak. Because imagine a permanently invisible target with like a sniper rifle hiding on top of a building. You could never kill him. Wait, I don't have a first. Well, there's actually a. I don't have a sniper rifle anymore. Yeah. No, you don't. Because the stalker cloak removes it. Because it's a permanent that's, cloak. That's stupid. So you can only have a handgun. I actually, yeah, that makes sense. I guess. Yeah, and then but then if you switch back to the hunt, hunter cloaking, you have limited invisibility, 
So the trick with the Hunter Cloaking is to be invisible while you're aiming down at a target. Hit shift, go uninvisible, shoot, hit, hit F, and run back to cover. Ah, I see. So that you can make multiple shots. Oh yeah, we've got another sniper here too. The main reason for VR, if anyone who's played Planetside will know, is that VR is just for testing things out. Yeah. Alright, switch up to your Light Assault. Light Assault, I don't think has anything different. Uh, oh no, you might have the- you'll have the Drifter, Drifter Jump Jets. Okay. Drifter Jump Jets. Yeah, I got it. Oh, that's how that works. So what are the- It's effectively super speed. Drifter Jump Jets are just super speed. They're pretty useless. But they don't- they don't, like, go up- their escape, like, no, their the, vertical. Sh the jump jets, on the other hand, let you do this. Now you'll find that on certain areas, this is really useful. The ability to jump up and parkour onto roofs. Yeah. Because then you can run along a roof and drop enemies who are shoot picking off your guys, like let other light assaults who are on the roof killing your guys. So it's you. I I stick with the jumper jump jets, personally. Now let's switch up to the medic. Medics. Actually, no. Light Assault does have another does, does have something else. If you click on Light Assault, you'll have your AF-19 Mercenary, right? Yeah. Now scroll down. Mm -hmm. About halfway through, you'll there'll be the Mauler S6, which is also unlocked. Okay, got it. That thing's a shotgun. Dang. So, range terrible. <laughs> Now, I specifically have put slugs in my gun, like, and I have an extended mag. Like, here, yeah. If you're gonna be a shotgun class, you're gonna wanna use your handgun for picking off people at a long range. And then shotgun for close up. So, like, this is where you, this is where, like, clearing rooftops, you want that shotgun. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> That's the wall. I got stuck under the roof, I'm sorry, and now I'm out of jetpack. Just wait, I gotta charge. I know. Luckily the jetpack recharges really fast. Okay, I got it. Okay. It, yeah. Here, we're gonna take a little trip. Got him. In a second. Just after I like continue showing you some other things. Alright, to the combat medic. Combat medic. Okay. Switch back to the nano. Yeah, I got it. Now here, you'll the the medic has a has a second thing that you can buy very early on called the regeneration field, which is useful, like yeah. freaking useful. Yeah, that's just about it. Recent now, the medic also has, if you click on grenades, the medic has the nanite healing grenade, the nanite and the nanite revive grenade. Nanite revive is hyper useful because it means you can throw something into a cluster of dead people and they all res at once. Half health, but they're all up again and you get a bunch of XP. That's amazing. Okay. Now also, yeah. in the medic, you'll have a utility slot with C4, medical kit, and restoration kit. They basically say exactly what they say on the cover. <laughs> medical kit gives you an instant um, res restoration of large portion of health. The other one is a large portion of health over time. Ah. Uh, right. Now, if you go back to the light assault, and you click on grenades, you have a flash grenade and a smoke grenade, beside frag grenade. Two non-lethal grenades, but smoke's really useful because nobody see through it unless they're spamming Q. <laughs> Which is a tactic, a legitimate tactic, it's called the Q spam. You just spam down Q, and it'll mark all your targets, and then you can just mow them down as they try to run through the smoke. Yeah. Now the flash grenade, temporarily blinds an opponent. Yeah. But you'll notice that in the light assault, there will see utility, exact same thing as the medic. C4, the advantage of C4 is that it does let you throw down an explosive, activate that explosive, and kill like 20 people with it. Yeah. Well, actually destroy vehicles, mm -hmm. specifically. But, if you notice how when you go into utility for the C4, you, you notice how there's two specific ones. The first one will be two, will cost you 200 certs. The second one is 500 certs, which is a fact ton. Wait, how, how do you get to the second one? I can't see the second one. 
Um, there will be two separate things. You have to buy it first. Okay, well, Which you don't I, have the money for. Yeah, I don't have any. I have zero Here, uh, switch up to the Infiltrator. Yeah. Infiltrator. All oh, right, yes. So the Infiltrator will have two separate weapons. Or, I uh, things. The Motion Spotter and the Recon. Yeah. Motion Spotter, you put down. Um... The recon doesn't last. The recon's um, first launch doesn't last very long, but the recon putting down the uh, re the motion spotter it's a permanent thing, but it can be destroyed. But it does give you a much longer time of being able to see everyone. The recon device can be shot, put down like shot, and it'll be there, and it doesn't last as long. But nobody can destroy it. That's kind of your advantage. And then grenades, an EMP grenade and a decoy grenade. Detro the decoy grenade isn't that useful in a big battle because there's a bunch of fire going on. Yeah. So if you're going to do it, buy the EMP grenade if you're going to buy a new grenade for your guy. Because the EMP will disable shields, like personal shields, and the HUD. Oh. Oh, okay. That's so you can that's good. So you can still aim, so you can still aim down sights and you'll still have your sights up. But you won't see your health, you won't see your mini-map, you, uh, and, yeah. Wow, that's, that's pretty good, I guess. For certain things. Oh, the real reason why is that personal shields, it delays time to kill. Which, if you have, like, a semi-automatic weapon, really useful. Like a semi-automatic sniper, really useful. Yeah. Now, his utility is cool. Rather than having the C4, he's got a bounce in Betty. Mm -hmm. Which is anti-personnel. It's just and it's just does huge damage mm -hmm. uh, to personnel. Let's yeah. switch up to the fun class with like a million different things, which is the engineer. Okay. Oh, and by the way, just so you know for your combat medic, you'll have three guns op three guns that you can choose to spawn with. Okay. A shotgun and two separate assault rifles. One of them is higher fire rate, but less damage. The other is more damage, more controllability, but less fire rate. Okay. And then your engineer, he's got the same gun, same setup as the light assault for primary, secondary. Mm -hmm. So shotgun and assault rifle is your options for primary, and secondary is the same thing for every class, which is the freaking mag shot. <laughs> it's rather annoying. All right, now, if you go down to your ability... This is the first class, I do believe, that has a separate ability, or two separate abilities. Actually, no, the medic should have another ability. I just remembered. Now, if you click down on your ability, you have the turret. Yeah. You have two separate turrets, an anti-infantry and an anti-vehicle. Then uh -huh. there's the auto turret, which is the spitfire. Low health, those things go down real fast. But you can just drop one down real quick, run away, and it just like can put down troops. Mm -hmm. So the trick is that you have two or three engineers drop down three of these things in a row or whatever, <laughs> and they can just concentrate fire on one or two units. So it's good for aiding and cover when you have a bunch of infantry kind of guarding a door, yeah, which can get insane. So then if you switch to your suit, now the suit is, you'll notice that the suits have a lot of different, you have a lot of different options. Yeah. These things, it's better just to go over it in your own in, in your own spare time and not really and choose what will be best for your playstyle. So first, practice playing. Otherwise, just equip one of the things that already has points into it. Yeah. Okay. Utility belt. The recharge delay for percentage recharge. Okay. okay. All right, and then okay. the utility. Yeah. Actually, no. The grenades first. You also got a sticky grenade. <laughs> Yeah. Util the, the sticky grenade self explanatory. Sticky. You throw it sticks to something. Yep. Utility. The tank mud is one of them. The bouncing buddy and the C4 and a medical kit and a restoration kit. You have a lot of options as the uh what's his face? Eng uh, NG. NG has a lot of options in terms of what he wants to take for a grenade. How many or, uh, utilities can you pick? Two? You can only have one utility. Oh. Unless, you can I think, abilities. if you take the utility pouch, you can take... No, nope, utility pouch just lets you carry, carry more. Uh, okay. Oh, and there's another melee weapon, but they're... 
slower. Right. It does more damage apparently. Probably not enough to. No, they do the difference. same damage. Well, one second. Let me just switch up to the carver, uh, because I've, because I know what I'm doing. No, I don't. Oh man, this thing slices fast. Oh, so it's like faster. Yeah, it's 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 got a faster attack speed, so that would be the only reason why you'd take it. Okay. Interesting, okay. Alright, now then, to the Heavy Assault. Heavy Assault. He has three different abilities. Mm -hmm. Adrenaline Shield. Adrenaline Shield, um... Resist Shield. Oh my... Okay, adrenaline shield would be really useful because it would allow because you can kill people to continue bringing it back up. Now grenades, the concussion grenade and the anti-vehicle grenade. Cool. They're insane. Anti-vehicle. Anti-vehicle. Yeah, throw it down. Huge damage, and it can actually deal damage to vehicles. The concussion grenade. Really annoying. Because <laughs> it'll um. You'll it'll ha you'll have trouble moving, so people will throw it down and then just charge you and kill you. And it, I, I don't like that grenade. <laughs> and then in your utility, you have a C4. Mm -hmm. Melee, the carver is also available. And now the max unit mm -hmm. he is actually not that useful. Now he has another ability by default, which is the Aegis Shield. So if you turn around, this is the Aegis Shield. Oh my god. Fucking huge, isn't it? It's a shield. It blocks it, all it... incoming damage. It's full, almost completely impenetrable. There's a nice little hole that you could shoot through if you're a really good sniper. <laughs> Downside? You notice how you can see on either side of me? Yeah. Is unprotected? You just shoot me with that and I die. Uh okay. <laughs> yeah, not that fun. And the suit has multiple upgrades, of course. Oh, I never noticed. But there's a nanite repair system on this on this bad boy that you can get. Hmm. What nanite repair systems do is they repair you over time. So it lets a max unit take damage and run away. Yeah. And then there's the max punch as your special. All right, let's switch up to choose a class, any class that's not the max unit. Because he doesn't, he won't be able to do stuff. Okay, infiltrator. I choose. Wait, uh, I light assault because jetpack. I, I, pro uh, yeah. I guess light assault works. All right, follow me. Actually, no, don't follow me yet. I need to get a different gun. I need, I need the gun that I bought. I did go out and buy a gun, the NS11C. So anybody who's watching at home can see the specific thing that I got. Actually, here, let's quickly go over, come back up, and go into the um, supply cabinet so I can go over attachments. Okay. Supply cabinet? So, we'll click on it. It's not really a supply cabinet, it's uh, uh, something depot. Go into it, and you'll notice that you'll have, on each gun, we'll have, there are four empty slots. Okay. Click on the slots. Yeah. Oh, and, a lot of Or on, like, any of them. And you have three. You 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 should have four options. Yeah, optic, rail, ammo, oh, no, camo. Right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Yeah. So, optic, barrel, rail, ammo, camo. Your ammo. You shouldn't be able to choose anything, but I have the two types of ammo that I've seen, which is high velocity and soft point. Oh, I have slug. High velocity. For because I have a shotgun. Oh, that's oh, you have the shotgun. Yeah. No, you'll have the rail. Yeah. And as people can see, I've unlocked two of them. There are there's the dark light flashlight, forward grip, and laser sight, specifically for my gun. What does your gun have? Mine has those and the extended mag. All right. Shotgun, it's really nasty that the rail happens to include the um, extended mag, and that it doesn't go, like, barrel or special. <laughs> yeah. It's because 
the um the extended mag is necessary because you only have eight shots with that gun, but it's semi-automatic, so it can do huge damage really quick. Yeah. But it's a shotgun with eight shots, so you run out of bullets too fast, and you have to reload. Or is it six shots? I don't remember. Either way, when you upgrade it, you get ten bullets, which is so much better, because you can put down more targets without having to reload, and that's typically when you die, is in that reload. Yeah. So, the, now I'll explain to you what each of them does. The extended mag explains itself. You get more bullets. Forward grip reduces uh, horizontal recoil, which is really useful if you're using a high fire rate like recoil gun. Yeah, yeah. So like the heavy, the heavy gun, you're gonna need a forward grip, or well, you don't need it, but you do want it. The laser sight increased accuracy from when firing from the hip. Really useful for me because I fire a lot from the hip. Mm -hmm. And the dark light, the dark light is nice. Now the dark light, <laughs> it illuminates cloaked infiltrators oh so it's very useful to like a player running around to have this gun or to have a dark light on yeah <laughs> especially with something like mine you can just mow down suckers okay that's interesting hmm. and then optics are optics yeah each of them explains themselves mm -hmm. Now then, to the... So I've explained to you what each thing does. Oh yeah, and then barrel barrels typically have suppressors or whatever. I have attempted to put a suppressor on my freaking shotgun. <laughs> the logic there ex escapes me. Well, I don't All know. Right. No, here, if you click on the handguns, just so that I can explain to you, because the handguns, there aren't that many of them. Yeah. Typically, like here, we should do an episode later on, which is just going through all the different guns. Because <laughs> there's a lot. Yeah, there's okay. not enough, there's a lot. Now, if you'll notice, many of these, the Hunter, like uh, QCX, which are crossbows. Mm -hmm. These crossbows, there's three of them. They're all exactly the same. The difference is that they... Two of them can only be tamed, obtained by station cash, which is what you get with real money. Oh. The, now the L the LA three Desperado is yeah. decent. It's a two round burst or semi automatic pistol. However, just because, like, I have a friend who bought the gun. It's not actually that good because you have a fourteen round mag and two burst. You burn through bullets far too fast. Mm -hmm. Now, the L8 Rebel is, I think, just an improved version of the... So, let's compare shots between... You can compare stats, which is a cool thing. Alright, so the Meg shot, higher. you have a higher RPM. Yeah. But you have less damage in close quarters. 250 versus 200 in... Ten. But the... L8 Re Rebel does 250 damage at 15 meters, like within 15 meters. Mm -hmm. But the damage of the mag shot is 200 within 10. But then the damage of the Rebel is 143 within 60 meters versus 112 within 60 meters. So, yeah, again, it's the advantage is L8 Rebel does more damage over distance, but your mag shot can be fired faster. Yeah, but the, the, now, the Rebel also has less ammunition, like it holds less mag. The, less, it holds less, mag. but this the idea for this would be like someone who's a sharpshooter with their handgun. Yeah. It'll... Or use his handgun in like panic situations, so oh no. Like spraying shots down, runs out of bullets, switches to handgun, and fires two or three shots really fast. The idea is actually that you fire you don't fire a peak. You got my you got in the way of my shot there, Ethan. Alright, follow me back. Now we get to the fun ones. I think. Maybe? Yes. Yes, we get to the revolvers. Alright. Now technically there's only two revolvers here. The NS44 and yeah. the NS357 underboss. Now I 
I get the feeling that that the three five seven refers to the clip size, which is a three five seven magnum cartridge. Yeah. This gun, not very accurate over distance, but it's powerful, mm -hmm. and it's got a really fast reload time. Yeah. For also the reloads look really cool. You might as well spawn in the the underboss. It looks nice. I think the advantage of the underboss is that it's got a faster reload. And um, it's got a different reload style, which lets it... Yeah. Well, that's, awesome. um, that's awesome. It shoot. You can shoot... You can shoot the underbarrel faster, but you can re... And you can reload faster. However, the, the Commissioner, which is a freaking huge-ass revolver... It's like a sonic boom when you shoot it. <laughs> You were hearing me shoot my gun, right? Yeah. Oh, I to respawn. Oh, come on. I want that guy back there. Holy. Wait, here. You shoot one shot and you... Oh, no. It does have the same reload of only three of the bullets. Yeah. Again, the commissioner, more damage, but... Slower, slower rate of fire. Goddamn, I've got a dog. Uh, look, can we just pause recording for half a sec? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, god, I hate dogs. Okay, so the well, only... actually, I love them. So the only reason Willow, we can Willow! use what, what, what? I'm talking to my dog. Okay, okay. One I was of them. Freaked out. Okay. She, she, she keeps running away from my room. So I've like locked her into my room because she keeps running away to go bark. That's why we end had to pause recording, guys. <laughs> Wait, okay, so the only reason we can use these weapons is because we're in, like, the VR, which is... VR. So Otherwise, we, you have to buy them. So yes. we can test these weapons. Oh, that's that's sick. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, I hear that you can put optics... Yes, you can put optics on the commissioner. Oh, my God. There's also so many different little upgrades on this stupid thing. A pink laser, a white laser, a gold laser, and an ordinary <laughs> laser. Now the real is the real thing you want to put on here is like maybe a Nico or whatever. So like my gun now has like a really sick sight. But the real thing about this gun is the fact that if I oh nope my flashlight's already on. Okay. I have a flash I have a dark light flashlight which illuminates targets. I just noticed that when you shoot, it actually blurs the air in front of you. Yeah, it does. It's like a sonic boom. Yeah, that's actually cool. That's I never noticed so that. Sick. Of course, I have. Oh. All right, I'm gonna uh, switch up to yeah, this light assault. Follow me. Got it. Follow me. You are the class that you want to do, right? Be right. Yep. Okay, then Darth Mush. <laughs> Ethan, come on. No. I'm gonna show you the fun classes, or fun things, the vehicles. Yes.